Hey, good morning, first through fifth graders. Welcome back. Thanks for coming to this morning to get into the Bible and learn and grow in Jesus Christ and in his grace and in his knowledge. I'm so thankful that you're here today. I'm actually in my car already this morning and not fully ready for church, but I'm excited we get to meet together, excited that we get to worship our Savior. Hey, I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July last night. You got to see the fireworks going off. Just a remembrance of the, the war for independence, the battle that we waged with the bombs bursting in the air and that flag still standing. You know, that's a powerful statement. And in fact, we're going to be in the Bible today to kind of look Look at something like that. We're going to be in Galatians chapter 5 and verse 1. Galatians 5 and verse 1, the Bible says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. During those early days in America's history when we were fighting for our independence from Great Britain, uh, we had to stand fast. What that means is stand firm. We could not give up ground. We could not cave in. We could not go back to living under the bondage of slavery like it was with Great Britain. Uh, they were doing so many things to keep the Americans down before we were our own country. But, you know, when it comes to our our spiritual life. We're kind of the same way. There are times when Satan and our flesh, the Bible says we have three enemies, the world, the flesh, and the devil. Uh, our, our flesh, the world, uh, the, the devil tries to put us back under the yoke of bondage. Now, those are weird words, but what it means is that we are stuck and, and, and grappled and kind of uh, this this bondage to sin or slavery to sin. And God's word says, Paul's writing to this, these Galatian believers that were kind of battling that. And he said, hey, I want you to stand fast or stand firm, okay, to, to the liberty, freedom, wherewith Christ hath made us free. Jesus Christ has saved us from sin. Jesus Christ has, has defeated sin in our lives. 1 Corinthians 15 says, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? You and I, through Jesus Christ, have been freed from the power of sin. Sin does not have power over us any longer. Romans says sin doesn't have dominion over us. It can't control us. Through Jesus, I'm free. Now, without Jesus... I'm still a slave to sin. If you've not received Jesus Christ as your Savior, as the Bible says, and, and accepted his payment for your sin debt, then today's the day of salvation. Make that decision today. Step out by faith, trusting Jesus Christ, believing on him and him alone for salvation. He'll free you from sin. He'll free you from that penalty of sin. And daily, he frees us from the power of sin. It doesn't have power over us anymore. Through Jesus, we have the victory. And our faith is the victory, the Bible says. So stand fast, stand firm. I'm not caving, I'm not buckling, not going back to sin. Instead, I'm gonna live in the liberty of Jesus Christ. That's why he's so important. The more I learn about Jesus and the more I, I study the Bible, the more I get so excited about Jesus because he's so amazing. Every day, his spirit strengthens me. Every day, his spirit guides me and, and helps me overcome my old nature, my sin, and live for him. Oh, it's so exciting. The more you know, but today when we come to gather and worship for Jesus, as soon as you enter into that church building, I want you worshiping Jesus in your spirit. I want you having a song in your hearts. Why? Because Jesus has set us free. Because we're not under the yoke of bondage any longer. We have been delivered. We have been pardoned. We are free from that bondage. We now have rights. We have privileges through Jesus Christ. Woo! Let's pray. Father, thank you for Jesus. Thank you so much for this freedom that we have. Please guide us and help us today. Strengthen us 
Help us to, to remember these things, not lose sight of them, and live in freedom, to stand fast, to not cave, not buckle. God, strengthen us today. Help us, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, I'm going to see you in a little bit. God bless you guys.